Come you infidels and abase and prostrate yourself before gaming divinity. Hmm. Direct, linggo-linggo ba to? Kasi I swear, tatadyakan ko na talaga tong mokong na to. God mode off. <laughs> Para ka nagpunta dito? Ba't oh, bigla ka nalang mag-decide to let go of your uh, godhood? Ay nako, kita mo ba yung mga tao sa editing? Ang lalaking tao niya. Eh di man naman binubuka ko ang puro special effects. Wise words from Sam Whitey. Ay nako, wise words kong wise words. Pero mas intelligent ang audience natin na nanonood ng Moron Gaming. Mog TV, Game, Game on. on! Ito ang talagang exciting news. Talaga namang hit na hit ang release ng Battlefield Heroes, ang unique play-for-free third-person shooting game ng Electronic Arts Inc. Kailan pa lang ito na-release pero over 1 million na ang players ng exciting na game na to. Battlefield Heroes is the latest title from EA that lets players customize their characters and mission systems. Ito ay isang web-based, free-to-download and free-to-play game kung saan feature dito ang isang non-traditional third-person camera view para kitang-kita mo ang iyong character while engaging in battle. Meron din built-in matchmaking system ang game kung saan maaari mo makalaro ang ibang gamers of the same level and skill for fair play. At syempre, hit na hit din ang cartoon-style graphics ng game that let players duke it out in the war zone. Akala mo ikaw lang may exciting news? Syempre, may sizzling hot news din ako for you guys. And it's definitely gonna whet that gaming appetite in you. Released early this year, the fantasy MMORPG Runes of Magic is set to redefine standards of free-to-play MMORPGs. Players can choose from the six classes na pwedeng i-combine sa isang secondary class character for full use of various combos. Magugustuhan din ito ng mga players na very particular sa graphics. They'll find the game to be richly detailed na pwede nang maging eye candy. With its rich lore, thrilling quests, kick-ass features, and amazing graphics and sounds, Runes of Magic is definitely one game na hindi nyo dapat palagpasin. Nakaka-excite talaga ang upcoming games na pwede nating malaro. Pero hmm, ano kaya ang una ay kong subukan? May nalalaman ko pang get up na ganyan. But I'm sure you got the full attention of all the gamers out there. Ano ka ba? Sa super exciting na news na binalita natin, ewan ko na lang kung hindi pa sila matuwa dyan. Pero di pa natatapos yan. We still have more in store for you, so tutok lang. Neutral Grounds gathered over 75 of the Philippines' best Magic the Gathering players this year to compete for the national championship. The event was held at Glorieta 5 Makati City on July 25 to 26, 2009. Nabalot ng tensyon ang competition. E sino ba namang hindi matitens kung ang nakataya ay $3,000 worth of prizes and a chance to represent the country in the MTG World Tournament. There's probably close to maybe 1 to 2,000 events a year for Magic the Gathering. But this year, World Championship will be at Rome, Italy. We are giving out $40,000 for the World Championship, $40,000 for three more Pro Tour events, which is, which is one will be held in Asia, one will be in Europe, and another one will be in the United States. Hapon na ng July 26, natapos ang tournament. Masaya ang mga participants, winner man o hindi. Pero, alam nyo bang hindi lang sa table tournaments pwedeng mag-Magic the Gathering? You can also play MTG and Xbox 360. And, if you are an Xbox Live Gold member, you can even challenge the legendary names in the business, gaya ni na Mike Torian, John Finkel, and the creator ng Magic the Gathering himself, Mr. Richard Garfield. Congratulations to the winners of the Magic the Gathering 2009 Philippine National Championship. And of course, to neutral grounds for a successful event. Sam, hindi nakaaway ka na ba before? Alam mo, Diane, nung bata ako, madalas ako mapaaway. As a matter of fact, medyo machak noris ang moves ko nun. Pero ngayon, tsak-tsaka na ako sa pag-iwas ng away. Siyempre, medyo matanda na. Hmm. Hindi ko sa matanda, pero yung, yung, yung face ba, kailangan patayik ako ng face value. Eh, ikaw, sa isang uh, ganyang kaganda, napapaaway ka ba? No, no, no. Peace lover ata to. And besides, if ever I even do get into a fight, Siyempre, gusto kong mabuo yun kagad sa isang mabangis na fighting game. Hmm, fighting game ka mo? You mean something like Tekken? 
Exactly. But when it comes to Tekken, nothing beats this guy. Meet Carlos Rosella. He is currently holding the title as champion of the Tekken International Tournament, Bloodline Rebellion. Uh, din. Tsaka, kami no sa team in PMS at uh, talagang iba. <laughs> How many hours do you spend playing Tekken? Usually, mga two to three hours. Pero pagka may death match, mga umabot na whole day. Which Tekken character did you use when you won the international fight? I used Bob, a new Tekken character in Tekken 6. Nakakatawa na dahil mataba, tapos para siya si Samo Hong, ang bilis niya gumalaw, medyo hawig sa akin. Medyo hawig sa akin. <laughs> so, how does it feel winning the Tekken BR International Tournament? Iba. Parang, ano yung, ano yung support, tsaka nagkita-kita yung mga nag, nag, usual like, naglalaro na players. Medyo masaya. Parang reunion na rin sa community ng Tekken. So, natuwa ako kay Jinlo kasi hindi siya yung taong mayabang, gano, mabait siya, lumalaban na. Hindi tulad dati na hindi siya lumalaban. Ngayon, lumalaban na. Ayun, napatunayan na mananalo ka talaga pag naglalaban. So, ano yung presa na kuha mo nung nanalo ka? Sinagot nung naam ko yung trip to Japan. Time zone, nagbigay ng laptop at saka $500. I think Filipinos are really good when it comes to playing video games, no? What do you think? Well, exactly. I'm so proud to be Pinoy.